A very good evening to our honorable lecturer, Dr. Sufyan, and my fellow classmates. My name is Dinesh Prasad B. Tangavelu, and my matrix number is 208308. So, before I enter into my presentation, I would like to acknowledge our doctor for, uh, for giving this assignment and giving the opportunity uh, to us to speak in front of the class. And I believe that this gives uh, more experience and enhance our public speaking skills. So, thank you, doctor. With that, I start my presentation. So I've uh, displayed an equation which is 1 plus 1 equals to how much? At the moment I show this uh, equation, you would have gotten the answer which is 2 uh, by less than a second. And what if I uh, calculate this equation, same equation in an electronic device? Uh, I believe that the amount of time taken by the electronic device to give the answer is more or less similar to how we got the answer, how fast we got the answer. And what if I make this equation more complex and ask you what will be the value of x for this equation? And I believe that we will take longer time compared to the electronic devices and uh, the electronic devices would have given the answer more faster compared to us. So uh, have you ever wondered why uh, for, for the first scenario, we and the electronic devices can give the answer in the same speed while for the second scenario, we are unable to compete with these electronic devices. So that's why I've been wondering in what extent electronic devices are uh, better compared to the humans and in what extent humans are better than electronic devices. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, I came up with this topic, which is in head versus in hand. So in head here, representing our human brain, while in hand, meaning nowadays we see people, most of them in public, they are using smartphones, and that's why it's representing electronic devices or known as uh, electronic gadgets. So why am I capable to give this speech is that uh, because I grew up with technologies, I know how technologies work, and it helps me to compare with human brain. And to in order to compare, in order to find information about human brain as, as a, a second year biochemistry student, I am capable of doing that. In order to compare two different things, we need to compare them, which is in the same level. We can't compare an organism with a cell. We can't compare tissue with uh, organ. So it need to be in the same level. So what are we going to compare here is the command units. So the command unit of the body here is the human brain, while the command unit of the gadgets or electronic devices are CPUs, known as, known as central processing unit. So what you can expect from this presentation is that we are going to compare brain and CPU in terms of our first main point, which is storage comparison, second main point, which is processing speed comparison, and our third main point, which is efficiency comparison. So the similarities between humans and computers are more numerous than the differences. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to more focus on the differences rather than the similarities that uh, that I have. Uh, uh, being uh, shared by the human brain and also our CPUs. So this is our first main point, storage. So first of all, what is storage? Storage means the reten retention of retrievable data, meaning the some, some data and information is stored somewhere and we are capable of uh, getting the access 24 seven. That's basically storage. So with that information, let us compare which uh, is either brain or CPU is having more storage. So According to, the, uh, according to the calculation, brain can store more data compared to the CPU, where it involves 10 to the power of 15, where, where for CPU, it just, it just involves 10 to the power of 9. And brain can store more diverse data or uh, information compared to the CPU, where brain can store imagination, feelings, and knowledge, while CPU can only store information in the binary uh, format, where it involves RAM, ROM, and secondary memory. All of them are less diverse compared to the brain. And what about the world data storage? This is one of the crucial part in this comparison, where it means the number of data that is being stored by all brains in this planet, a number of data that is being stored by all CPUs that, that present in this planet. So what I obtained was 1.96 times 10 to the power of 25 bytes, which is a lot compared to the CPU, which means how do I get this data? What I did was I took 2.5 petabyte times with the number of healthy brains present in this uh, planet, which is around 7.9 billion humans minus with uh, 50 million, uh, 50,000 brains who are having dementia and Alzheimer. We can't include them. 
So this was the digit. And for CPU, it was in year 2020, it was 59 zettabytes according to the statistics. And it was uh, it is expected to increase to 175 zettabytes in year 2025. Although it is lesser than brain, uh, brain uh, world data storage, I'm pretty sure in, in year 2040, it's going to exceed the world data storage that is being stored by brain and that is where ladies and gentlemen cp is going to take over brain in the in in help of artificial intelligence as in fiction we can tell that cpu is take is going to take over the world and human race so moving on to the second main point which is processing speed the definition of processing speed differs for human brain and also for cpu where for human brain it, it means that how quickly the human brain can do a cognitive task whereas for cpu uh, the definition is the number of instructions or operations that can be obtain, uh, can be done in a second or in per unit of time. So let us compare the processing speed between brain and CPU. In order to compare processing speed, we need to know the number of basic units. So first of all, for brain, it's around 10 to the power of 10 neurons. And for CPU, it's around 10 to the power of 9 transistors. So just a slight uh, comparison, slight less for CPU. It's okay. But when we compare the fires per second, it was shocking where although brain has more neurons, it can only uh, fire 200 fires per second. Ne a neuron can only fire 200 uh, fires per second, while CPU can fire 10 to the power of 11 fires per second, which is a lot compared to the brain. And automatically, we know we have lost, uh, human brain have lost this competition, whereby when we calculate the total fires per second by multiplying the number of basic units with the fires per second we got uh, 10 to the power of 20 total fires for cpu and for just uh, for, for, for brain it was 10 to the power of 13 which is less so with that we can conclude that sadly brain is 12 million times lower than cpu so let's uh, next we will move on to the efficiency the last main point so first of all uh, we need to know the definition definition of efficiency okay here human brain and cpu is doing the same task which is converting input into output or results so in the between these two command units which uses less energy in order to perform this task that is what we are going to compare in this section so first of all the power consumption used by brain is 15 watts watts just 15 watts which is very less compared to the cpu which is the uh, which is the higher end uh, uh, comes around 225 watts what about the percentage of total energy being used by uh, brain it is just 20 per, 20 percent of the total energy while for cpu it's around 44.4 percent of the total energy although already cpu is using a lot of watt the percentage is also higher compared to the brain so with that brain is uh, more efficient compared to the cpu why is that so what is the reason behind this is because of uh, brain is brain uh, undergo, e undergone evolution which aims only on efficiency and creativity that's how brain evolved and with that creativity we humans created cpu in order to be uh, producing an accurate and perfect results and that is why cpu doesn't focus on uh, being more efficient and that's why brain is more efficient compared to the cpu so we are going to end our speech and I would like to summarize our points. So according to the first main point, which is storage, our human brain stores more data compared to the CPU. According to the second main point, which is processing speed, sadly, human brain is slower than CPU. And lastly, human brain is more efficient compared to the CPU. So there's a two to one and human brain one. So I would like to, these are the references that I use, which, uh, which involve the data that I uh, presented earlier. So I would like to end this presentation with a, with a quote whereby your brain works just like a computer. So make sure you are the only one programming it. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in this manipulative world, there are a lot of input, there are a lot of advice and that there are a lot of input in our, into our brain. So we need to decide. Don't let others to decide on your, uh, on, from your side. Since we saw that CPU, uh, th that human brain is also uh, being a CPU, don't let others to hack and be, be yourself. Uh, don't let others to manipulate. That's all from my side. And all the best, everyone. Thank you for listening throughout. Thank you very much.